70 million Americans suffer from some kind of sleep disorder. While most will suffer nothing more than a short night of sleep, others could be at risk for more serious health issues, including heart disease and stroke. And here to talk about the dangers of sleep disorders is Dr. Manika Jamwal, a sleep specialist at the PacMed Sleep Center right here in Seattle. Thank you for being here, doctor. Happy to be here. How common are these sleep disorders and what are the most common ones? Uh, sleep disorders are extremely common. Some 50 to 70 million Americans suffer from sleep disorder of some kind. Um, unfortunately, with a hectic schedule, sleep is one of the first things pe people end up compromising on, and they don't realize how important good sleep is for the overall health and well-being. Um, one of the more common sleep disorders is sleep apnea. This is when patients will stop breathing while they're sleeping for several seconds to minutes. Mm -hmm. It causes significant disruption of their sleep, they wake up tired, and it has an adverse impact on their health. I mean, sleep apnea, do you, oh, is it obvious if you have this? Do you wake up short of breath? Is it that dramatic? Or some people uh, don't even know they have it. Yeah, some people don't know they have it. Uh, they just wake up feeling exhausted and sleepy through the day, though they think they slept for several hours. Other patients will actually come in with bed partners who've noticed that they're snoring excessively, are excessively tired in the day, or are gasping and choking for, uh, for breath at night. What about insomnia or not being able to sleep longer than four hours, five hours every night? What about those? Those are also sleep problems and um, excessive alcohol intake, excessive caffeine intake, irregular sleep hours. All those things can contribute to these problems. How much sleep does the average adult really need? Because I know I hear it's different yeah. for everybody. Some people say yeah. they need eight, nine hours. Some people say they get by with six every night. Right, it's true. That's absolutely right. There is no magic number. It uh, varies with the individual. The amount of sleep you need to wake up feeling refreshed with good energy levels through the day without being sleepy or tired is probably what's right for you. In general, less than six hours of sleep can lead to some tiredness in the day and have an impact on your health overall. How do you know when you need to go in, make an appointment and get some help? At what point? If you wake up in the morning, you're exhausted, you're sleepy through the day, you have mood changes, talk to your doctor about it so they can evaluate you for a sleep problem. And doctor, what are your thoughts on over-the-counter drugs um, to induce sleep, trying, you know, th there's a Tylenol PM, Advil PM, what are your thoughts right. on that? Um, I think the goal should be first to assess why you have the sleep problem. There are multiple reasons why you're unable to sleep, stay asleep, or be tired in the day. Uh, just taking an over-the-counter medication might work for a night or two, but it's not the answer in the long run. So if you need help, make that appointment. Definitely. Thank you very much for being here. For more information, just go to our website, comonews.com, and click on Como4TV. Let's check back in with the forecast team.